everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. As you can see on the Adventure tab, it says, Adventure in Levels 5-1. So, that obviously means that in this episode we're going to be starting a new section of levels, which is actually some of my favorite levels in the game. The roof level. I should be reading this. He's just basically talking about all kinds of stuff that you need to take into consideration and kind of worry about. So we have a new zombie here. These are bungee zombies. They do not... They are not normal zombies that come out and walk across your rooftop. How zombies get... Well, I see a ladder there, but why zombies would want to try to come into your house through your roof, I don't know. But I do know that they're bad, so we kind of have to watch out for that. So now that I don't have to worry about... Uh, now that I don't have to worry about my mushrooms uh, because it's daytime and they're all asleep, and I don't need to worry about the uh, lily pad anymore. I can make much, much more just very, very, just very <laughs> custom class sets to just use here. Because uh, it just feels so good to be able to do this again. So now we're going to be able to use these two guys in combo nation. And just see, I don't even have a need for anything else. Um, also, I want because you can tell by the angle. The reason why we need to launch stuff is because I don't know what I want to use. Um, Torchwood won't do anything, uh, so I don't know. Can I use snow peas? I guess so. Okay. Not that it's gonna do me a bit of good because I'm gonna mostly stick to uh, tall nuts and the pumpkins with them and just basically stock up on these things. So, first take note of the fact that we go back to five rows again, we're not sticking with six, we're back to five, so good to know. Um, like I was talking about, nothing, unless your plant is in this first row, this furthest out row, it's not gonna hit anything. You're not gonna hit anything with it, because the incline will block your peas. So for now, I just have to worry about uh, some temporary solutions here. That's why I grabbed all these. So I can just use those until I can get some tall nuts out, enough cabbage bolts to warrant um, putting tall nuts out and stuff. So I actually think what I'm going to do for now is stick to... I could probably do two cabbage bolts per row. I might not even need these tall nuts. This is only a one wave round, and I'm not too worried about anything else that could possibly be happening, because it's they're not gonna throw a lot at me on this first round. I know this for a fact. I do believe cabbage bolts deal the same amount of damage as normal plants. Um, but they are a bit slower, I have noticed. At least I think they're slower. I would like to hope so. Because it just... It makes no sense. Because these things get really overpowered. We're just seeing the Cabbage Pulp for now, which is the default. It's the basic. They get pretty broken. They have a decent... All of them, really, have a decent recharge speed. It's all really nice. Well, I can at least say that I got one Tall Nut out. This is true. I probably should have just done three rows of cabbage pulse if I could, um, but I don't think I will. I don't think I can. And pumpkin combo. Now, this thing is essentially indestructible. Just saying. I mean, it is destructible. It is obviously capable of being destroyed. But not for a long time it ain't. Unless, of course, there's a cheap little thing going on. And this is what the bungee zombies do. For right now, there's nothing I can do about them. I mean, I guess I could if I didn't put this cabbage pulp here on the bottom. I could have used a uh, cherry bomb and took them out, but I'm not digging out a... I'm not digging out a 100 sun plant and using a 150 sun plant just to save a 50 sun plant. You can see, in the time it took for me to explain why I wouldn't want to do that, I put another sunflower down. It's not worth worrying about. So you'll notice these little pot things, which I probably should have guarded that a little bit better, and it's my fault I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we have no way of restoring these, so for right now at least. And once they're gone, they're gone. 
Spoiler alert, we will be getting a way to put more pots down. I'm gonna want a third cabbage pulled on this, I think. Or better yet. Yeah! Dun, 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 dun. I really like this music. It's not my favorite music in the game, but I like it a lot. It's nice music. I hate you, why would you do that to me? Luckily now, my plants can retaliate. Why they weren't retaliating faster, I don't know, because they just kind of sat there. So you'll see that not only do those bungee zombies um, steal plants, but they also put plants down. Or, they steal zombies, they, they steal plants and put zombies down. So, that's how that works. Alright. Let's go, zombie. Come get some. Ha! Metal Gear. Anyway, so here we get a pot of plant. Yeah. What's your plant on the roof? Got some new items for sale. Really now? What you got? I really kind of want these twin sunflowers, but that takes up a seed slot, and I don't know if I want to risk. Well, it wouldn't be a risk, it's just a matter of comfort zone levels. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't really want any of these. But I, I do want these, I just remembered that, and I could go for some more rakes, I guess. You're gonna want the floor. You're gonna want the roof buffers because if you don't get them, you have nothing to protect your roof. You don't even get lawn mowers. I don't understand why, but you don't get them. So now, like the lily pad gag, we need a second plant at all times. But it won't be so bad. I have pretty pretty decent stats for these rooftop levels. They're all pretty much the same, really. But I'm not too worried in particular. Let's get some more stuff here. So we're gonna want gonna want tall nuts, gonna want pumpkins. Uh you, you, and you. It's pretty much gonna be the same course of action as last time. Only now we might be able to get a couple more rows out. And that was a dumb idea. Reset! No am I going through with that. No way. At least now you see what the flower pots do, and how you put them down, and you can put them down anywhere. You just can't put them down on a flower pot, obviously, but I, I wish you could. That'd be actually kind of cool. So tell them that's this. You, you, you. Okay, let's not make that same stupid mistake twice. There. So now we have our floor scrubbers. Floor scrubber things. And you also notice that they started us a row back. So that's a problem. But no problem, because we can fix it. Well, that's a problem, but no problem. No worries. We can fix it. We're coming. The zombies. Legs. The zombies. Our Batman. Yeah. Zombies. Daha, <sighs> take that zombie, stupid zombie. Stupid, stupid zombie. Stupid, stupid zombie. Oh, I don't have my dude anymore. Shoot. My, uh, Spadow guy. My bomb disposal expert. Who is also a bomb. Okay, you're gonna want to start putting out, uh, flowering pots. I'd say get them out onto the flat part of the roof if you can. Um, because it's just good to have a bunch of these stupid things all over the place. They recharge nice and fast, so you don't have to worry too much about them. So I want to see if I can go for three rows of cabbage bolts. I might, I might not even bother with tall nuts and pumpkins in this round, but I do definitely want to get a bunch of just these cabbage bolts. Just get them on the field and keep them there. Okay, so put you here. Get a bunch of sun back. Sun would be great. Where is it? I could use one. One more sun. You know what? I'm actually going to conserve a little bit and put sunflowers down. Oops. I hate it when I do that, by the way. D well, d <laughs> duh! Everybody hates it when they do that. It makes them look dumb, makes them feel stupid for half of a minute. There why would there be no reason for them to not feel dumb? I feel dumb for saying that. I feel dumber for saying that than I did for 
saying the other thing in the first place, which I don't even remember because it obviously wasn't very important. You know, it's... I amaze myself sometimes. Not to just give myself a big head or anything, but I am a fairly intelligent human being. But I question that sometimes! My logic isn't irrefutable. I'm human. I'm imperfect. Ah, oh, crud. Jumper guy. Get the jumper guy! You were gonna... Thanks, game! That was marvelously beautiful, and I loved every second of it. Now he's gonna eat my potted plant. That was the biggest waste of a tall nut! Uh, just instinctively wanted to... Duh, I should have put that there! Then he wouldn't be able to jump over it! See the problem? It's when you don't think. It's when people... You don't think. You just... You don't think. I was... <laughs> I had an... I had intent for that. There's a reason why it's there. There's no way. That is not staying there. That is full of bull. D Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> this is the episode where absolutely nothing could go possibly more wrong! Yay! Flower pots all over the yard, I mean the roof. I guess that's kind of useful if you wanted to plant something close to the sun Then put your plants on the roof I can't ensure what kind of results you'll get But I don't really care in any way Because I'm awesome and you're not I did not mean to say that I'm just going with the flow of the song And it's happy and stuff Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not sure because I'm not used to this music. I'm used to the other four levels before this one. Because obviously, to get to level five, you have to go through levels one through four first, which means that you'd have to go, which means that you'd hear, you'd have to hear those level themes as many number of times as you have this one, if not more so. Because this is just the beginning of the- Will you get out of here? And how'd you make it through here? You piece of crap. Yeah, I actually intended to put that pumpkin down there. I know a lot of you are gonna call BS on me, but I actually did. Because I can- Just because I put that there doesn't mean I can't put a tall nut there later. So it's like, you can do it in mixed order. You can just get defenses up early. The only problem that tall nuts... Well, that pumpkins do that tall nuts don't have is that they can be jumped over by these uh, polearm zombies. And that's officially what they're called now. They are officially polearm zombies. Not polearm. Polearm. You know, like a medieval spear. Is this it? Minus the final wave, I think this is it. And you guys are going nowhere. You're just gonna jump into my nuts. Think that, what of that, whatever you will. I don't care. See? Now everything's happy. Everybody's happy. Except me. Let's play this game. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna pepper the crap out of this guy with cabbage. Cause I don't even like cabbage. I don't like green vegetables in general. I mean, I like some of them. But not all of them! I can't stand salad! Don't know why! Would actually kinda like to love it! But I don't! And I don't know why! It's just, it's gross! It tastes like dirt water! And it's nasty! And regardless of how much ranch dressing you douse it in, it doesn't help! Yeah, you guys could have put those zombies in more useful locations. I'm just saying. I'm gonna do that same thing to this room. So, I'll make short work of these, uh, bucket heads. 
they're not getting through my tall nut for nothing. Ain't no way they're getting in here. That was much faster. I'm glad I did that. Okay, so here we get the Colonel Pult. It flings kernels and butter at zombies. So, kernels deal... I think these guys are a little bit faster. Um, I think they deal the same amount of damage. Is this true? Let's find out. Damage light. Uh, but the butter deals normal damage and it freezes enemies. So, that's cool. Um, they recharge fast, much like their uh, other guys here. So, But you're, that, just because you get these guys doesn't mean you... Just because you get kernel pults doesn't mean you want to replace the cabbage pults. Uh, you're still gonna want to you're still gonna want cabbage pults too, but um, that does it for this episode of Let's Play Plants vs Zombies with Zero Gear Plus. Click the annotations on the side of the video, the previous episode, and the next episode. If you're watching this in the future, make sure you click that like button and the subscribe button. And if you could even take it a step further, as to I don't know, maybe share this on Facebook and Twitter so that your friends can see it. That'd be great too. So uh, see you guys later. Ah.